So if you guys didn't check out the video yesterday, go check out the They Won It All. Little spoiler, I think you can imagine who is the favorite Transcendence hero in Idol Heroes. However, that was more or less a vote of who uses what Transcendence hero the most out of all 22 of these, I believe we're at. Wait, uh, is that 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, 22 of these heroes. Now, we're going to not put Lord of Fear Aspen on this next one because the poll is going to be something a little different. We're literally calling this next poll, who would you want to have Lord of Fear Aspen's abilities because you love this hero? And I hope I described that plenty well enough. So, like, literally, if, this is almost now a whose hero design do you like the most? Whose backstory do you like the most? Who do you think looks like the best hero in the game? Artwork-wise, style, lore, whatever you want to make it. You might just think Jester is the coolest looking guy in the world. Well, that is what this poll right here is going to be for. I I'm, I'm going to vote this guy right here because he's just, he's weird looking. He's quirky looking. I mean, if you actually watch his animation, like, I, I don't know if you've actually paid attention to a lot of heroes animations. They are janky AF when they do their actual intro animations. Watch his right shoulder blade. Hold on. Just watch, watch his right shoulder blade here. <laughs> It gets all funky and stuff. It happens on a lot of heroes, but I do like the hero in general. So let me show you guys what we're going to work with on this poll. So yeah, the, the, the last poll, spoiler, if you guys are still hanging around and you didn't check out yesterday's video, which of these Transcendence Heroes is your favorite? The final was Doom Terminator Vulcan versus the Lord of Fear Aspen, and we know how that turned out. Now, we're going to have the new poll. We broke it down into groups of three so that maybe the vote can be a little more focused, and we have seven different groups in this first grouping. Who would you want to have Lord of Fear Aspen's abilities because you love this hero? So you basically, this is like, we all know Lord of Fear Aspen's kit is hard to pass up. We all love him because he is so good in the game now your vote is going to be what hero do you like the aesthetic of or the way that they kind of play but if they had lord of fear aspen's abilities they would be the main damage dealer in idle heroes essentially so the first one we have star swords mockman sword flash shia and lord of death Azrael. again i don't know like i'm not a fan of how mockman looks in the game so I don't know if I'm going to pick him. This is going to get some weird results. The second group here is Mystic Fairy Freya, Lord of Sparkles, Yorm Tum, and Chaos Bound Spirit Gaggy. All very weird looking heroes in this one. The next one is Therapist of Blood Betty versus Asmodel versus Blood Tide Queen Arania. To be honest, I kind of like Arania the best out of this grouping right here. Uh, Star Wing Jara, Cosmic and Force of Luna, and Hyperspace Hunter Islamok in group four. Me personally, once again, I think Luna has the coolest look out of these heroes, so I wish she had Lord of Fear Aspen's abilities. The next group is all females here. Interstellar Hunters Patricia versus Sun Devour Eos versus Fairy Queen Vessa. I don't know. Because I, I like as much as I like Eos, I don't like her design. I think I like Patricia's design the best. So this is going to be a really weird one, I swear. Uh, we also have Doppelganger Natalia versus Star Alchemist Holmes Young versus Scarlet Queen Holora. I like the twin, like the, the sisterly doppelganger thing. The I think that I like that artwork the best. And oddly enough, uh, in this final one, group seven, we have Doom Terminator Vulcan, Phantom of the Fire Lane, and Mutated Fungus Jester. I think I would personally pick Jester because Jester just looks really unique and really, really cool. And once again, if you don't know where these actually are, if you go to our actual Berry Gaming channel here, there's a community tab and community tab has all the polls and information that we've like ever done. We've been lately doing a ton of polls because I think people have been actually enjoying them. Uh, it also, you know, kind of gives me some insight when I ask you guys, are you enjoying the fewer videos per day? And it seems like most people are. So we're gonna keep doing that. And yeah, we, we share some other stuff for our other channels. We have questions for you. We have... Man, 90 subscribers, we hit four months ago. We're about 2K up right now, so we'll have to see when we hit 100K, but I really like doing these polls now, and you're probably gonna see a lot of them. So if you wanna participate, go to the community tab. You might actually see them if you're on mobile, just in like the suggested preview on the, that tab. You might just see them pop up left and right and center, but we got seven of them, and I want you to group, group vote on all seven if you can. So this kind of reveals, in my opinion, one of the biggest issues in the game right now, and that is new heroes not being that impactful it's it's gonna be weird to say but most games kind of have this cadence of like power creep over time and 
It's crazy to think that the sixth ever Transcendence Hero released is one of the best. And honestly, Queen is, again, one of the best supporters ever released. And it's like two out of those original six are still used nowadays when we have 24 Transcendence Heroes, which is crazy to think about. I do think it's healthy that not every single hero becomes this end-all be-all hero, but the fact that most of them coming out recently are very underpowered and bland, like they do have some niche uses, they can be good, but they're not like, oh yeah, this hero solves X problem that we have and it's just gonna be a build hero. We haven't had that since Therapist of Blood Betty, which at this point was what, almost a year ago? One, two, three, four, five. So that's like 10 months ago, essentially. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. And even before then, we had Doppelganger and Kalia, which is a good support hero. g was like a hit or miss, depending on who you are. Honestly, the second generation was like a really solid one. Or sorry, third generation of Transcendence Heroes was like really, really solid. If you actually look at it, second generation feels like it flopped the hardest. <laughs> like by a long shot. I think that's second generation, right? Let's, let's take a look at the chest. Second generation here. Uh, like we had Mockman, Eos was like okay, but it was really just down to Mockman that was like really GG. Do we have the other chests? I think we do, right? No, that's like the newer chests here. Which they're all right. They're all right. I still think the third generation overall is still one of the best, and this fourth generation is kind of missing it overall, minus like one hero. <sighs> if only they introduced something in the game where you could like. Do what we're talking about. Take Lord of Your Assassin's Kit and put it on somebody else. But I think at the root of the problem, this Demon King's Might is the one thing. This Demon King's Might is equivalent to what we used to deal with with Tix's ability to deal damage based on the enemy's attack. I think that is legitimately a one-to-one -one copy of issue where we had they had to change the way they designed pve content because tix was trivializing it and it feels like lord if you're asking does that in not every game mode but in specific ones there's just zero percent chance that anybody can even come close to competing with them and i think demon king's might is the biggest culprit of that it's essentially tix 2.0 so let me do what you guys think because I'm really enjoying these polls. I love getting the interaction with you guys, seeing what you guys think in the community for all this stuff, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So let me know in the comments who you think should be on it. Of course, you can leave a comment on any one of those polls as well. And again, leave a comment down below if you guys are enjoying the way we're making these videos lately. We're only doing like two videos a day, occasionally on rare occasion doing a third, uh, but it feels like you guys are more actively participating in the comments you're actively watching more of the videos and i feel like before we were kind of just overwhelming you with the sheer number of videos but again i only know if you guys tell me so if you guys want some more gameplay videos leave a comment down below i'll check it out and i'll see you guys next time